All right, Coach, thanks. We are across the Cumberland River from downtown Nashville at Nissan Stadium in Tennessee. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. Fall is in the air and the NFL season is in full swing and we're underway here in week four. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. First carry for Derrick Henry. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly I don't know. that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Lower than the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield. Knocking someone down. Just what you said. Setting the tone early for this game. Jeez, you are fired up. When I see a play like that, I can't help it. On third down, Henry. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Losing four yards that time. And now it's fourth down. On his Kern, the punter, to send this one away. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he'll find Thielen on the right side. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Adam Thielen, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. To throw Mariota. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And this passing game, this whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again. Just like last week, each game is its own entity treated as such. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Well, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. That'll go in the books. It's just a 16-yard punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Here's Foles. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice gain right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Foles. 
He's going to go for a big play downfield. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys. Already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it's all incomplete. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Here we go, here we go. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. A run, it's Clement. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. 13, 13. Now falls. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And down inside the 15 he goes. Now, first catch for Jeffrey. Good enough for a first down. Now, Sean Jeffrey, so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body, ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. He was looking for Adam Thielen there. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. On play action, they'll throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz, his first touchdown on the year. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Elliott now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically their scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down to a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44, and they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. That's now his second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's blitz coming and down he goes. Wesley Woodyard leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. A few issues here on the offensive line. Apparently, he got sacked five times last week. They got to him here in the first quarter. And I would think that running the ball would be paramount here because it's a different team they're facing, but they watch the film as well. So they'll take many of those same principles and try and apply them in this game to see if they fixed what was wrong with them in the last game. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. They'll set up a throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tucker rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm is going forward. Incomplete pass. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. 
Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Throwing Mariota. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Titans give the quick strike touchdown. And again, it's no good. A few boo birds coming out as he's missed his second extra point here in the first half. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And an alley to run. He's at the 40. 20, 10, 5. All right, let's give credit where credit is due. How about that return? Great blocking, great vision, all the way down to the two-yard line. The only person who has to be upset, the guy who didn't get it into the end zone. That far and no reward? Elliott good on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Titans getting set to go. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They begin with Henry. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a just big, a big man, big, a huge man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And then you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> and give him nine yards on the second down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. On third and one, here's Mariota. Out to his left. And incomplete here on third down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And force the sport down. Give them 11 yards that time on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Hot, 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 hot. Foles now already over 100 yards passing in this first quarter. It's first and 10. Be alert, be alert. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Throw left side on target to Thielen. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. First catch so far for Tate, and he's got a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. 
Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Tate. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. Here we go, here we go. They'll look to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he's reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. And Jeffrey's got it. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Sean Jeffrey, his first touchdown on the year. And the Eagles add on to their lead. Everybody likes to see the long ball thrown, but when you throw it underneath and you see someone catch the ball, secure it, make their moves, and then turn it into bigger plays, that's a lot of fun to watch as well. Elliott good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's got, got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And he'll get it down here to the 43. First target, first catch, and a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Emerson Griffin in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Now a former fifth-round pick of the Eagles. This is Deion Lewis. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Malcolm Jenkins up to make the stop. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. 58, one, one. Run, Third and long here for Mariota. He's going to fire one. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seen the ball so well and understanding where receivers are, positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. While the trainers take a look, they'll step aside. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll find Thielen work in the middle. Accelerating and off he goes. Touchdown, Philadelphia. 
Adam Thielen with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Elliott now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Throwing is Mariota. Sets up the screen to Lewis. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll make this a second and long. the gun. Mariota looking left side and he's got a man. It's Lewis. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. It's a gain of seven and they'll be facing a third and 12. Mariota. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard, and it's fourth. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much... Not just give him a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it. Because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. This is Clement. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Tennessee after this. They'll run with Clement. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. And they'll go ground game here with the tailback. And the penetration too strong. He won't make it back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to make it fourth down. It's 
So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 46. this one through but hang on a flag is down now if it's on the defense they might decline it and take the points so a special team's mistake on the field goal try leads to a new set of downs inside the red zone he'll look to throw and he'll take it into the end zone for an eagles touchdown Adam Thielen on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Eagles are pouring it on. And he's got it up and through. Elliott now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Mario to throw it. Throw left side complete. That's Lewis. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll toss it to Henry. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. All right, folks eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10. Hey, solid one, solid one. And they'll go on the ground. And another mistake here defensively as a flag is down on the tackle. And that's going to tack on 15 more. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Hey, silver, silver, silver. There's Foles. His throw incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken. down at the 40. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Third, 
Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you'll see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two try and get things kick-started for them. And you know in the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Mariota now on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. But find him. Find him. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And the trick play doesn't work. Good reaction there defensively, and it'll be fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Sproles, the return. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Check 26, check be alert, be alert. Foles. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And a short game down to about the 33. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll run again with Clement. Space to run past the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles continue to roll. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Elliott now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Goes underneath for Henry. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it's a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. 
Now a second down throw for Mariota. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Everson Griffin in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. On third down, that's Henry. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. On now is the Titans punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And they'll run it here. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. fake they'll look to throw going for the deep ball that's caught at the 25 and he is into the end zone touchdown Philadelphia Adam Thielen 64 yards and the Eagles are pouring it on Elliott good with a PAT and that will extend this big lead Elliott now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Now Mariota. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. On third down, Mariota. And the trick play doesn't work. Good reaction there defensively, and it'll be fourth down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot in, in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looks like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Around the NFL, third quarter at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's going to be met at about the 43. The big man, Jarrell Casey, in on the stop. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. Great, great. 
Now Foles. And Tate's got it. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. Foles now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Now they try the right side here. Nice footwork at the 25. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. On play action, they'll throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Back now in Nashville. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. here going down back at the 28 it'll go as a loss of a yard and it'll set up third down Brandon it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter they're gonna have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball made it very difficult right there now they need to repeat that effort yeah bring seven eight nine whatever it's gonna take to slow them down to throw and he connects with Ertz and he will have a first down at about the 21 yard line it's a seven yard gain there and it's good enough to move the chains and they'll go on the ground and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 a nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload, but you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Set, 180! Be alert, be alert! Right back to him on first down. And they're going to get him down, but not before a pretty good run right there. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. 13, 13. What we got, what we got? Come on, come on. Under, under, under. Hey, silver, silver, silver. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Switch it up here and look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. 
Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. He'll get it up the middle. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Now back to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Adam Thielen from a yard out. And the Eagles continue to roll. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership <laughs> that as he tries to negotiate a new contract <laughs> off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Now, Deion Lewis to return. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. Here's Mariota. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And a nice gain of 21 yards. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You got a tight end who can move around a lot, not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've taken him out of the game. That was just his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. First down, Mariota uncorks one for Davis. And that's caught inside the 30. They give him a gain of 38. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. And yeah, not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Another carry, same story. Fourth quarter, and he is in red numbers right now with a running game. Hard to believe because you figure at some point you break off a run. But in it and he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 14. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And they'll go with the ground attack here. Finding room at the 30, and finally brought down at the 34-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive, 17 yards and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And he'll get this up to about the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Solid gain of 27. Here we go, here we go. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool 13, you. How about 13. that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Now a handoff looking right. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, 
Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And they'll run it here. And not much running room. Down to the 32. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Open man is stealing. It's complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. On second down now, Adams. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. A big offensive explosion.